and welcome back to beyond the streams this is the next episode um and of course you, you you're you're not you're not gonna find either next level or rojas on one channel talking about all kinds of shenanigans so if you don't know yet make sure you guys do subscribe and follow us on all the platforms in the description below you guys will see the videos you guys will see the podcast you will see all of next levels jesusness <laughs> oh my goodness and 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 all of rojas's dimples if you want to see that great here we go <laughs> so today we got we got a very interesting topic um this happened a few months ago and there is still some commercials that we're seeing nowadays. Um, and I know I, you know, some of this right next level with. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, to me, this application is the most popular application from people I talk to in regards to video calling still. And it's crazy from the topics that we've talked about in the past about this, because we've done live shows specifically about this, that people still I guess, disregard the warnings or whatever, or how do companies rebound from situations like this? That's what's got me interested, right? And it's crazy because when, when you say that it's, I think about certain like third party apps, certain companies, uh, social media platforms that have been shut off, shut down, mm -hmm. or there's all these warnings of never use this and they don't recover like after, data breaches and stuff like that and and it's it's very interesting i know a lot of us start talking about like vpns about switching passwords mm -hmm. about being being pound pound pound, pound. pound. <laughs> um but it's very interesting how this one company something like this happened and there was people like linus tech that says don't use zoom and he has a huge platform of over a million subscribers. I saw that video. That's actually how I'm just like, wait a minute. Like, is this for real? Um, just pulling this up, the 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 article here. It says 500,000 hacked Zoom accounts. This was back in April of 2020. New users flocked into Zoom. As you guys know, this whole uh, pandemic that we've been in and everybody, it, it's crazy. Everybody needed a platform. They forgot about Skype for some reason. They forgot about Hangouts for some reason. Yeah. They forgot about all these different other platforms. And a new one came came up. I'm not sure exactly how Zoom's been around in the business, but it literally came out of nowhere. Like people were like, let's use this. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And uh and so many people have Zoom now. And I still refuse to use it because of all the security issues that I've seen it had in the past. I didn't know until recently that WhatsApp has uh, multi-video chat calling now. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. So, I mean, there's so many options out there uh, in regards to doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It, and and just just looking at this, because I know people are going to say, like, like what exactly is this? And I'm not going to read the article in its entirety. You could, you could probably search Forbes and search 500,000 hacked accounts sold on the dark web. Um, but like here it says the cyber risk assessment experts at cable recently discovered a hacker selling stolen zoom credentials at dirt cheap deals and in some cases giving them away for free um some of these it was about five hundred thirty thousand on an underground hacking forum for next to nothing several of the company's clients were among the stolen credentials which also included personal meeting urls and zoom host keys now let me see if I could flip it over here. Why are uh, why are hackers selling thousands of Zoom accounts for less than a penny? Um, while Zoom has become a major social platform during st stay at home orders, hackers at have taken reliance on the popular video chat app to breach privacy of thousands of users. Researchers found on Monday that hackers began selling over five hundred thousand accounts. And just scrolling down here, it says some of the accounts were being sold at 0. 0.00. It's not even a penny. Zero each. Not, not even a penny. It's nuts. Like, and then if you think about it, if there's, if, if there was like, how much money could somebody really make if there was a hundred, like a hundred thousand accounts? Like how, how much money are you looking at? If it's at 0. 0.002 and they sell it. hundred dollars. They're not even doing it for the money. They're just doing it for like advertisement for fame at this point it's crazy 100 bucks 200 bucks 
I mean, uh, uh, that's, that's 100,000. If they're doing 500,000, then you're looking at, you know, maybe $1,000 they're going to make. Like that, to me, that's not even worth the risk. It's it's nuts. It's it's like, why would you even, it's like, why? <laughs> if you're not yeah, even why? Risk, exactly. Why? They're just doing it because they can at this point. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. It says, uh, so this lady here at one of the regular meetings back in April, uh, what seemed like a hundred people yelling. Oh, yelling. Okay. Yelling racial slurs. So it looks like people were getting even hacked to the point that they were entering their streams and saying stuff. Saying See, some... That is some scary stuff because, um, I recently posted on my Facebook account that, um, uh, do you watch the flash? Yeah, I do. So, you know, uh, uh, Digby. Yeah. He was oh, just fired. Yes. For racial slurs. For racial slurs back in 2014. Mm -hmm. But when accounts are being hacked and people are saying these things on your behalf, a company down the road, if they can't, if you can't scrub it off your internet history of your track online, could think that this is potentially your actions. Right. Yeah. That's some scary yeah. stuff. It's, it's definitely some scary stuff. <laughs> And, and, you know, here I'm just looking at some of the, the, the stuff that, that Zoom has said in June of 2020. Some of the updates. That was last this week. Being, this was, yeah. So it's changing to existing features. So re-enabling Giphy. Giphy will be renewed to, for Zoom chats. Uh, new and enhanced features. Chat features improve transparency of channel privacy controls. Enabling public channel admins and members to add external users. Some of the resolving issues have been just minor bug fixes. Um, I, and I read here some ways to like mute, unmute. It, it, there was just a lot of stuff that they pushed out so that way people cannot hack into your stuff as easily. It, it's going to take a lot more work. But here's a whole list of it. Cop a copied URL will not include password of, in the web. Setting embedded passwords meeting link for one click join is disabled. Uh, Preventing private chatting with channel members outside of Zoom account organization, some 256-bit uh, GCM encryption. There's just a lot of stuff here that they started to add. Security, more security icons, report a user during a meeting, meeting features. You know, they really needed to add this stuff because Zoom is not a small little video platform. They're a publicly traded company uh -huh. with lots of shareholders. So they can't just shut down. So they have to implement their security features. They have to keep going, improving their improving their their product, their their software, all that kind of good stuff. So I mean, being a publicly traded uh, company, they have a certain level that they have to maintain of themselves. I mean, their their stock isn't even cheap either. Their stock's about two hundred and twenty bucks USD. Jeez, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> if it's that expensive like they gotta put they gotta put some serious money into this they they it's it's i understand when when you start something new and it blows up i understand that there is some growing pains but with these guys the way the way everything happened it was just like like they should have just dumped so many things like security stuff that should have been even if they're gonna go you know for me if i see a commercial if you got a if if you have if you have a, a a a commercial and it's talking about just like this Zoom, you know, like mm -hmm. hey, here's a commercial, and I and I got to pay a lot of money for those commercials to be out there, then I should have money to back it up for my security because I don't want it. I don't want something to come out and then the security gets blown over and and accounts get hacked and then all of a sudden now I'm in a whole other world of trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they definitely had to use a lot of their money. So a couple things that I've been looking at is that, well, I, I, I'm I, I'm very interested in stocks. So up until they were in the media and all that stuff was going on, their stock was worth, you know, 150, 160. And then once they announced that as of the 30th of May, they're going to be upping a lot of their security features and stuff like that, their stock went over $200. Mm -hmm. See that big jump like that, right? But they 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 didn't have a choice because we also looked at uh, platforms like Google threatening to remove them off of their off their platform, right? Um, so it's either you 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 buck up or you get out. 
Pretty much. Yeah. And, and, and you know what, that's, that's so interesting that you say that because uh, this other, this other article here, it does talk about um, some things that were hacked and some abuse images and like just some really nasty stuff that was happening. But here, this is something actually that you brought up. Um, yeah. Joe O'Reilly, deputy editor at, at Pro Privacy, has suggested that Zoom still has some ways to go. And this was recently. This was very recently. Um, has some ways to go if it is to stop large-scale companies such as Google from banning the use of the platform. If you guys don't know how big of a juggernaut Google is, <laughs> like I, I honestly, I honestly don't know. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Like Google is so big. Google like, is so big with it. Your your app platforms. You have what? You have you have Apple. You have Google. You have Amazon, and you have Microsoft. Those are your app platforms. Those are your juggernauts, right? So if if someone as big as Google says, "I'm not putting this application on my platform," I'm pretty sure that's enough to cause the other platforms to turn their head and be like, "Well, if Google is not going to do it, then maybe we shouldn't too," right? A lot of these departments actually have departments. Sorry, a lot of these platforms actually have departments within themselves that communicate with the other platforms or with the other uh, like tech companies, right? So I don't know, it's it's scary stuff. It's scary stuff. And it's like, you never really know how secure your data really is. Because mm -hmm. as much as people invest in security, it's just as much as people are investing in the opposite. <laughs> yeah. And what's interesting, because I know somebody, some people will ask, well, how far can a VPN really take you at this point? Because I know yeah. VPNs, you know, you got, you, you got multiple things. Um, if you have a computer, you probably have some kind of like malware virus protector. And a lot yeah. of those have built in VPNs. Um, sometimes people don't have it. They just get the basics, the bare bones is what I call it. And they'll, they'll say, Hey, I'll get myself a VPN. But the, like, like what people need to understand when you have a VPN service, it can only do so much for you. If you go to a website like Zoom and you have your VPN turned on mm -hmm. and you put in your credentials, a lot of people do not know that you could have multiple passwords. They like to use the same one password for everything because it's such a convenience thing. And it's like use different passwords. You have to. Like, you have to. You, you, you have, have to, to use different passwords because if and as soon as they breach one, what happens? You know, it's funny that you said that. I actually, um, yesterday, uh, my VPN actually gave me a prompt before I would use it. They're like, it's time to update your password. And I was like, oh, I've never seen that happen before. And it literally told me, you have to change it before you can use our service. And I'm like, I mean, if I have to, okay. But I mean, I'm thankful that they do these things, right? Because um, as humans, we have our own faults. <laughs> sometimes yeah. we need those reminders man we need those reminders so i i agree and it's it's i know we've done we've talked we've touched about this about about uh uh security yeah and we talked about how to put your passwords like you know like mixing special characters with For numbers sure. uh uppercase lowercase letters um you have to do stuff for um something that you're going to remember you know, like, like right here, you see, like next level has the way he put everything like big, small, big, small, <laughs> big, small. That's great. You know what, what, what I would do, honestly, what I would it's do my password, I swear. I know it's, it's not the password, but <laughs> what I would do, like I'm right now, I'm just looking at the numbers. The, I would leave the N as it is the X as it is the letter T I might put like a seven, the number, the number seven. Yeah. You know, number seven. The capital L, I'll leave it as is. The V, the V, probably leave the V as is. And then the second L, I would probably put the number one. Or a capital I. Or a capital I. <laughs> you know, it, 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 there, there's so many things that you yeah. can do. The, the letter E, I would do the number three. You know, there, there's, there's so many things. That, there's so many things that you can do. The H, the number four. There's, There's so many things. Like, do you remember? Do you remember? Um, uh, back in the day, like I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to age us right now. 
my I, I I I even had just my 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 little eyebrow just twitched right now when I thought about it. Remember pagers? Yeah, I had a pager. Man, my pager had the game Brick Breaker on it, and there was a point in the game where you could leave the paddle in one spot, and it would just keep going back and forth, and you could leave it there for the whole period. Dude, <laughs> remember when you were like like the pagers were so funny to me? It was I had one too. I'm I'm, I'm I, I had one too, <laughs> but they were so funny because you had to run to a phone to call them back. <laughs> okay, but it wasn't that bad before because there were pay phones everywhere. There are pay phones everywhere. Everywhere. Now you can't find one. But remember, people would use the, they would use to page you with hello. Mm-hmm. Or 911 or whatever. <laughs> Oops, yeah. <laughs> they, would, they, would, they would find ways to do it with numbers and mix yeah. mix it around to put letters. And, and yeah. it was, it was fun. It, you know, it was, it was, it was a very interesting time with those pagers, but you had a payphone everywhere yeah. with with your passwords. You could virtually do the exact same thing you did with your pagers back in the day. And I know there's going to be a lot of younger people now that are probably going to say, "What's a pager?" I don't know what a pager is. <laughs> you know, um, technology has just come around so far now that instead of saying "thank you," they put "ty." Yeah, for sure. For they sure. don't spell new, Depending on which one of your friends you talk to, you'll have a different abbreviation language that you have to like know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like my cousins uh, in the chat yesterday. We have a family chat, and they said, uh, "What did they say?" D K M. And I was like, "What's D K M?" They're like, "Don't kill me." And I'm like. <laughs> I, I've never heard this one before, but okay, it's I'll put it in my dictionary for when I'm having a conversation with you. <laughs> yeah. it's, when when it's interesting that you say that too, because you could turn that into a password. You could, you could, you could password yeah. numbers, abbreviation with stuff. There's so many avenues that you can take that with to keep yourself safe. Now, now, just to I guess add on to what Rojas is saying here is. If you have difficulty coming up with these passwords, there's so many password managers out there as well, too. And you can actually, in some of them, you can create presets. Like you want it to be certain characters, you want it to be certain whatever, um, and you it'll auto-generate and it'll save them all for you in an encrypted login password with biometrics and all that kind of crazy things if you want it to be. But I mean, Definitely, I would say do your research, check out companies, check out re uh, uh, reviews. Um, there's even some companies that I'm pretty sure that we work with that have their own password managers. I know I work with a company that has a password manager as well, too. Uh, but I haven't had the time, which I hate to say that, to really check out the software yet. Um, and I need to because we've had a conversation. We've mentioned it on some of our live streams, too, where I was hacked and that was a headache for a whole two weeks of my life, like trying to not only get my accounts back, but get my money back because they went into PayPal and they went into my bank accounts and all that kind of crazy stuff. But I think the end of the day, all we're really trying to say is if you choose to use any application, make sure that you do your own due diligence, change your passwords. Don't use the same thing for more than one right? Make sure you do your own due diligence. No matter how much money companies like Zoom are dumping into their security now, somebody else is trying to, you know, work around loopholes and all that kind of stuff, right? Security is kind of like, how do you say it? Um, security is like a response, right? Mm -hmm. Like somebody will attack a loophole and they'll patch it. And then somebody will attack a new loophole and they'll patch it, right? So, yeah. You have to be able to do your own due diligence. It's not always these companies' responsibilities. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, so yeah, I, it's it, man, so much information with this video. I know <laughs> we started, we got into Zoom VPNs, and then we went past no It's yeah, so much stuff here. Uh, I, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know in the comments section below. Um, what what platform are you guys using? Um, when it comes to your 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 video chats yeah right? you're still using sure. zoom if you are using zoom you know it'd be interesting on on why you're still using it and what are you doing to protect yourself or like did you change your passwords did you make a new account mm -hmm. you know how'd you do it and if you were scared 
because of the security leaks with Zoom. Tell us about your experience, your emotional thought process. Like, how did you stop using Zoom uh, if you were using Zoom before? Yeah, definitely. So as always, you guys take care, take care of each other. Be patient and stay humble, like I always say. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.